Hi! In this tutorial, I will show you how to easily set up and program ESP8266 modules in Arduino environment. In this tutorial, I will use Node MCU version 2 or version 3 model. I designed this tutorial in three parts. First, we will install Arduino environment and the latest ESP core. In the second part, we will compile and program. And in the third part, we will see how to install a new library and see its examples. Welcome to my YouTube channel Green-Eyed Explorer, where I explore further and beyond about tweaks, hacks, electronics and house repairs. Setup. Well, let's start. First we download Arduino software from arduino.cc. Find the program under the software section. Then you install it. When it is installed, let's find the latest score for our ESP8266 modules. In browser enter github.com slash ESP8266 slash Arduino slash releases. Find the latest version at the top and copy link of asset ending with .json. This is pre-released version. Instead, you can get a latest stable release at the same link address, but just cut the releases text and scroll down and search for the JSON link to copy. I always use pre-releases and check for new ones every so often. Now we open Arduino. Go to File – Preferences. In the Additional Boards Manager URL, paste the link we have just copied, click OK, go to Tools – Board – Boards Manager, select Updatable, select ESP, click Update. Wait a few moments and click close. That's it! Compiling. When you have the program on your hard drive, just find it. .ino files will have a little Arduino icon in front. Double click it. It will run Arduino environment. If you have previously used other type of Arduino board, you will have to change the board. Go to Tools again, then select your board. In my case, Node MCU 1.0. When you plug your board into USB port, it will appear under Tools Port. Select it. When closing the Arduino program, it will remember your last setting. There is a nice option to verify if your code compiles. Press Ctrl plus R key or click tick icon. To program, press Ctrl plus U key or right arrow icon. You can see shortcuts under Sketch menu. Libraries. If you want to install a new library, you just have to go into Sketch menu, then include the library. Here we see two options. One is add zip library, where you can import your zip library packages you have downloaded from internet. The other option is manage libraries, let's click it. Here are listed all your libraries. You do not have to check this manager from time to time as Arduino checks for new versions by itself and asks you if you want an update. In our case we use ESP8266 core. This core uses Arduino, JSON and some other libraries. If you update them, then you will maybe not be able to compile your ESP programs anymore. These libraries change structure and cause, so the core cannot use them anymore. Solution is to check the current version before the update. If new library does not work, just downgrade it back. In the manager, you can also search for new libraries to install. Let's say we want to install a Relay library. Under All, just type Relay. It will list all available libraries. Let's select First Build minus Relay. Click Install. Click Close. 
Under the menu File – Examples, we can search and open enclosed examples and compile them. That's it! Simple as that! I have to inform you, when programming the Node MCU, you just press Upload as the USB connection can pull GPIO0 low by asserting DTR and reset your board by asserting RTS. But if you use ESP01, you will need to enable flashing yourself by pulling GPIO0 low or pressing a flash key if you have one, while powering up or resetting the module. Happy programming! Don't forget to hit like for this video if you find it educational, comment below if you have any questions or thoughts, share video with your friends and consider subscribing to my channel. More coming up!